The distant galaxies we see in all directions are moving away from the Earth. But it is not the galaxies that move through space. It is the space that expands. This whole phenomenon was observed by an astronomer named Edwin Hubble and is called the Hubble's Law. Today, we will going to show how the expansion of the universe or space caused the movement of the galaxies through an experiment. For this experiment to be done, we need three materials. A balloon, a marker, and a balloon pump. First thing that we need to do is to inflate the balloon a little and tie it. letters as representation of the galaxies. After, untie it. And lastly, keep inflating the balloon and observe how it expands and how the letters or the galaxies move apart. The galaxies in the universe behave like the letters in the expanding balloon. The distance from each letter to the first letter increased every time the balloon expanded. Hubble concluded that the universe is expanding, just like our balloon expanded. Our sun is just one of the hundreds of billion stars in our galaxy, the Milky Way. Our galaxy, in turn, is just one of countless galaxies in a giant universe, though we don't know how big the universe is. There are enough astronomical observations today that shows that the universe is expanding, and this expansion is widely accepted. The expansion was discovered in the early 1920s by astronomer Edwin Hubble. Through a telescope, he observed that all other galaxies seem to be moving away from us. In addition, the farther away from Milky Way a galaxy was, the faster it moved away from us. You can see this phenomenon called Hubble's Law on the balloon. But it's not the galaxies that move through space. It's space that expands between the galaxies, more distance created, and the distances between the galaxies increase all the time. This expansion of the universe began with the Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago and has been going on ever since. In recent years, starting 9.4 billion years after the Big Bang, the rate of expansion has even increased. The driving force for this acceleration is called dark energy, but we don't know what it is. Whether the universe will stop expanding or not, it isn't known either. But right now, there are many observations that indicate that the universe will continue to expand forever, and that galaxies will eventually be so far apart that they cannot be observed from any other galaxy cluster anymore. In this demonstration, Three-dimensional space is simplified as two-dimensional surface of the balloon. This simplification is common in astronomy in order to be able to step out of the three-dimensional space we are in 
and observe it from the outside. There are two errors with the balloon analogy in this demonstration. The first error is that galaxies appear to be growing in size as the universe expands. This is not true. Galaxies do not stretch out due to the expansion of the universe, but are held together by the gravity between all the stars in them. However, galaxies can grow, but they do so by merging of several smaller galaxies. The second error with this balloon analogy in this demonstration is that all galaxies move apart. This is not true either. All galaxies do not move apart. Galaxies are gravitationally held together in cluster. Two clusters can also attract each other so strongly that they collide. Galaxy clusters are thought to never separate.